just to refresh our memories, this is the pattern for the driver's side. And uh, this blue area through here, here, and then up here on this side of the headlight, which if I illustrate it here, right here, here, and through here, has to be stretched, as well as this edge over here. We need to stay away from this area right through here because that's the reverse curve, and we need to have that material actually shrink down into that, into that uh, concavity on the, on the buck. So we're gonna double check this panel with the buck, and we're gonna begin wheeling this out. As soon as we get some shape into this panel, it's going to wheel a lot easier. You can see how it's kind of jittering. Now, I don't have the tension up too high. Back it off just a bit if I wanted to. There. Oh, that's a little better. So you'd think after wheeling up that piece, hammering it out and all that stuff, uh, to uh, take a break. But adrenaline, you know, it's driven by adrenaline. You get one piece done, get it on the car, looks really good, and start the second piece. And the next, and the next, until well, you get them all on the car. smoother except for the fluttering on the ends but I'm not too concerned about that at this point just want to move some material just got to be careful we don't get too much fluttering because it'll actually create dents in this area Okay, well this is going to take a while until we get a much uh, more def definite shape here. So I'm going to turn off the camera for a bit and just wheel this out until we get to a point where it looks like something. Okay, see you in a few minutes guys. Working this in and I'll show you guys how far I've moved ahead with this panel. You'll be amazed because We've moved a lot of material here. You can see the panel is getting almost a chrome finish to it. It's so shiny, so clean. And no tracking marks anywhere. Because I stretched a bunch of material here, I had to kind of blend it down into this lower section just under the headlight. Once I finish this up, we'll get this up on the buck and make sure we're headed in the right direction. I think at that point we can start trimming away a little bit of material because there's quite a bit of excess on the bottom here as well as around the headlight area. You saw the panel kind of fluttering. I had to change positions in my, with my hands to eliminate that because every time there's a flutter, every time it stops and starts, you're gonna have a, a mark. It's gonna leave a mark on the panel. And I'm sure you guys are looking at that finish. It's quite nice. It's gonna be a shame to paint them. I'm not sure if the owner will wanna leave it in bare metal. We'll see. He's got a few colors in mind and uh, we're gonna try and Make them happy. Not applying very much pressure in this area. I just want to blend these areas in. I 
hope the camera is not doing some funny stuff with the reflections caused by the panel. Okay, they're gonna have to wait. I wanna show you guys what we're doing here. So you see that? Looks really nice. Look at that finish on there. So right now I have a few little marks in here. I had to move this radius over a little bit. So I'm gonna take and smooth this out. I just switched over to a higher crown anvil and I'm just gonna smooth out, not gonna stretch. I just wanna smooth out with some light pressure, those little wheeling marks. We might have to actually switch anvils to the next. We're not bad yet. You can hear the bumps. I'm just going to work them out nice and smooth. We can plenish it out, but I'll get a jump start with the wheel here. And just take care of them. called washing the panel. And coming back the second time around, most of those little bumps are gone. You can't hear them. Okay, third time should be the charm. that. It's all nicely smoothed out. So I need to bring up this layer here. The clamp mark there from earlier. Stretch this a little bit here as well as here and we will try this. And that's going to do it right there. Until I cut away the excess material, I'm not going to really push things around too much more on the panel. All right, let's fit this on the buck. Just lining up a few of the old witness marks. Things will change every time you wheel the panel a little bit, things will move around. So I just want to make sure that, there we go. It's good. Put a clamp there. Now we will take and smooth all that out. We might even cut away some of that material for the next panel to come into. We are really, really close on the buck here. looking at the buck we have a bit of an area through here that we need to stretch out because it's kind of holding things in from sitting properly as well as the reverse curve we need to take a wheel this up just a bit more to allow that to curve around some more uh, we have some buckles here so that just indicates that this hasn't been stretched enough as soon as this material stretches it'll allow this to tighten up and the core to kind of curve around it's looking and feeling quite nice through here Actually, as I feel it, we have a bit of a uh, convex shape up here, but then through here, there's a bit of a flat spot which comes back into a convex shape. So we'll just wheel this out here, bring that out, allow that to come in, wheel this, allow that to curve around, and it'll sit where it needs to. This is a very complicated panel. A lot of stuff going on. So like I said, I'll just wheel up this zone here around the headlight to stretch it out a bit and that'll allow some freedom for us to move inward and then we'll increase the curvature of that reverse curve.
we're going to take and stretch this out. So I'm going to switch over to, actually, let's try it with that anvil and see how it behaves. We don't want to introduce any wheeling marks to the panel at this point because we are sitting quite well and we don't want to work it too much more. See, that flat anvil, low crown anvil will do what we need it to do. So the curve happened just below the headlight and curve around. We want to stretch this to allow this to curve around here, but we want this to remain relatively straight. We want this to reverse curve to blend in to this primary feature here. So I'm just blending it into the area under the headlight. And as I'm doing this, it's actually straightening the panel out because I'm using a low crown. So we will have to bend it a bit by hand. What I'm doing now is just pulling material from the sides into the middle under the headlight, increasing that curvature. I took and I cleaned up a few areas here with a higher crown anvil because we were running with a flat one and radius this up a little bit more through here. These clamp marks or vice grip marks are going to be taken away by cutting that edge away because this edge kind of does that. We didn't wheel up to the very edge there. We just left a little bit of material just so we can use it for clamping. I took and I blended this up into here. Took and raised this area just up a little bit more so that we could pull material away from this area and I cleaned up this flange over here. So let's fit this up on the buck and see how it looks. Line up our witness marks. Sometimes you need more than one hand to hold things in place. That's a nice. Okay, and then this area through here. We'll have to give the panel a bit of a bend afterwards. I want it to sit up here on its own. I don't want the clamps to force anything into place. And this can get clamped over here. And that looks very nice. A little bit of a pucker right here. I might adjust that clamp up there. Allow that to come in like that. It wasn't much, probably a quarter of an inch I moved it. And that just relieved the tension in this area here. Now the rod is sitting back in here. So we're going to take and roll this material over the rod. But there's a lot here. There's about an inch and a half. So we'll cut away half of that, leaving three quarters of an inch, and roll that three quarters inside. But it's feeling really good. This upper area here, I'm going to trim that off. I indicated here, but instead, we'll take it off right through there. Chop that off. Just double checking everything. And we can start scribing our buck. Around the headlight area here. Scribe the bottom. We'll leave about an inch around the bottom, as well as around the wheel arch here. We'll leave about three quarters of an inch. And we might leave a little tab up there just so we can clamp and not damage any of the material that's over here. Um, every time you clamp and reclamp, you leave marks in the metal. I don't want to see that on the final panel. So when it's all said and done, it'll be nice smooth panels, and you won't have any, any little defects in there. Just finish trimming things up and get this on the buck again. 
It's a little bit lighter. I'm just looking at this again. We have a bit of tension here that I don't like. We need to take and stretch this material a little bit more to allow this to roll over. The rest of it's sitting quite nicely. We have enough to roll into the wheel well. Um, just studying the panel. You don't want to jump and do something and then find out that it was a mistake. fit this again. I'll explain to you guys what happened and why things fit well once the first time and then the second time didn't fit so well. Okay, okay well that's a lot nicer. Just put a squeeze clamp on here. See that? It's all fitting in really well. Trimmed away this opening. Now we can start rolling that over. So what happened was when I blended this material in, kind of smooth things out, it pulled material from here, causing this to come up. So by wheeling this area here, our wheeling zone was just this inch and a quarter area right through here that allowed the material to stretch enough to roll back down. And then I blend it back into here. So now we're sitting well. And that's it for the front piece. Okay guys, so with this front fender section completed here, we can now move on and complete the other two pieces here. And this hasn't turned out to be too bad because we only have one piece back there that rolls down to the rocker. We have the second piece that comes around right to the grill. And then we have two pieces up here. So from seven pieces, oh, and then we have the one that goes just in front of the door there. So from seven pieces, we went to five pieces. We eliminated two pieces, which is, you know, it saves a bit of work in, in terms of welding and finishing the panels. I'm going to give you guys a little treat. I'm going to take and clamp this fender a little bit better to the buck. Nice and snug. And we're going to roll the headlight ring. Just uh, plug your ears for a few minutes and uh, we're going to take and start gently rolling this over. And you're going to see that I'm not directly hitting it with the hammer. We're going to kind of glance the hammer off and slowly massage the metal around. face of this hammer is too wide for this radius through here, so I'm going to get another one. Smaller face. You see this material starting to pucker up. If we take and drive that down, drive that down, and create it, we can create a ridge through here. We don't want that. That's why we want to bring it around nice and gently all the way through. stretching this edge around to uh, go into the headlight opening. And as you can see, that's coming in really, really nice. Uh, I noticed I must have missed a little tack here grinding it down properly because it's showing up through the metal. But all the way around, I have a nice radius starting. And I'm not going to tighten this radius up too tight because I'm going to bring the headlight in from the back and test fit the headlight to this ring here and make sure we're on the right track. We have to adjust something and the radius is too tight. It's a real chore to move things around. Right now, it's still nice and soft and we can still do things with it. So I'm going to leave it at this point and we'll move on to the top two pieces and start forming those up.